we must ask them the question about JNU. You know, I mean, you're a product of a very vibrant time in JNU and CESP and all that happened. You've written in that in that in the, in the, in the sort of was it a commemorative volume that that appeared. Now, when you see things like you know. Uh, policemen entering into campuses, whether it is Jamia, whether it is JNU most recently, how does that play into what uh, Professor Dufflow was talking about, you know, citizen democracy, learning ideas? Where is India going now when you see this happening? I, I, I went to Tihar jail in 1983 because uh, JNU was seen as being too uppity by Mrs. Gandhi. Uh, so this is a, this is a long tradition of JNU being uh, being uh, the uh, you know, the enemy. Um, having said that, I think what was and I think actually Nirmala Sitaraman said that yesterday. I think what was remarkable about JNU is exactly that it was a safe space for dissent. It was a safe and it's extremely it was extremely vibrant, but a vibrant with a lot of. Diversity. I mean, it's not. I mean, Jainu is always characterized as being, you know, uh, sort of a leftist hangout. But in fact, you know, there were Nirmala Sitaraman was there, Jashankar was there, uh, more or less my contemporaries, both of them, um, and um, Sitaram Yachudi was there, and Prakash Karat was there. There, there was a, there was a really a wide range of views, and um, there were, and we, I mean, we got along. I mean, I, I coming from kind of middle class Bengal, I really didn't know the RSS in any form. In JNU, you meet them. And they were, I mean, they were very engaged in conversation, very almost formally polite, uh, but, and uh, spoke Hindi that I half the time didn't understand. Again, my handicap from coming from Bengal. Uh, but it was, it was absolutely the case that it was the first time I really encountered an enormous range of views. And uh, you know, Lohiaites, lots like Yogendra Yadav was my contemporary as well. So lots of people of different views who had very strong opposition to each other. It's not that Lohiaites loved the communists, uh, not at all, the opposite. Uh, they were dead against them. So it was not, I mean, in fact, the, uh, the last year I was there, it was the, uh, the Lohiaites who won the JNU Students' Union against the communists. It was very much, the, the divide was there. So it was not, it was, there was enormous diversity of views, and that diversity of views created the possibility of creating all of us as somehow able to negotiate a diverse and, and often fraught space. I think, and I think that that's sort of what Nirmala said, which is, I think, is important to say that it's, it's very important to have a, a kind of a space of dissent where we can both uh, disagree and be, at some level, still colleagues, still, uh, still people who can communicate with each other. To, to, I think the recourse to violence, therefore, is extremely, uh, extremely frightening for a sense of uh, the future sense of polity, because I think it does create this this worry that the youth of today will see that their their way to resolve conflict is by beating other people up. I, I think that's 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 the real worry, to me.